Welcome builders Andy is here and welcome back to another survival based tutorial. This is a two player base, two main towers connected by the top bridge and some also walkways in the middle and two little houses stuck on the ends but they look really cute and they're supported and look kind of realistic and how they're supported underneath. Plenty of room for farms and for enchantment rooms and there's a huge basement underneath as well and there's plenty of space to breed your animals. Let's have a look inside as well, you can see all the storage and stuff. Big shout out to my sponsors Pickle Hosting who sponsored this server. Use the code ANDYSYODA for 15% off. What do you think? Let's get this built. It's actually pretty straightforward. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get this built. Now into your inventory, you're gonna need some glowstone, stone slabs, stone bricks, polished andesite, a chiseled stone brick monster egg, and stone brick stairs. So let's get this built. I'm gonna build half of it, and then the other half you just have to just build the other half, really. It's a flip side or reverse of what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna actually just line this up here so we've got this exactly in the same place as this one. So, starting with the polished block of andesite, we want uh, 17 of these. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we want to go for 19. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then just spin that back there opposite. Now we want to build this up uh, to have five layers high in total. Be right back when that is done. There, that is done. Now we want to grab the chiseled stone brick monster egg. In fact, just, does that have to be the stone brick monster egg one? Can it just be chiseled, chiseled stone bricks is fine. Okay, we don't want any silverfish flying about the place. Um, so count two blocks up and we're going to put that there like that and then count two along and we're going to go for some glowstone right there and that can just be repeated this pattern of missing two like that uh miss two boom boom uh miss two like that there we go and then put this glowstone in there and there like that cool okay we are getting there getting there right then we're going to go for some stone bricks we're going to do go um under this under this here and here and then on top so like that and that can go on this one and this one and this one and this one and then we're gonna go for stone brick stairs. We're gonna turn these like that. So you just see a little bit of glowstone. The glowstone is just really just a, a decoration on the front, I suppose. That's all you would call it, a decoration on the front. So we can go like that and like that, and then two upside down stairs above them, like that. And then we're gonna go for a whole stone brick there and there, and then another upside down there and there. So let's just repeat that over here. So we're gonna go one, two, like that and then upside down upside down like that and then upside down stone stairs upside down stone stairs and then a full stone brick stone brick and then upside down and upside down cool we are getting there now we're gonna go one two three four just like that just building those up in fact that can come up another block there and it'll, in fact, it'll go up even further later on. We want to put these in here to make the same kind of shape like that and then put in like that. And then on top here we're going to go for something I didn't put in my inventory, sorry about that. Stone Abricus Slavis right there and there and there. Cool. Progress is being made. Now let's put a simple little kind of skirt around the bottom of it like that. And that can just carry, whoops, carry straight on around the whole deal like that. There we go. Um, let's carry on around the corner, in fact, may as well, actually. So what we need to do is we put that one there, that's right. And then that goes there and there. Cool. And then obviously everything is going to be exactly the same. So that's going to go right there. You can continue that round like that. And what we want to do is just continue on exactly the same sort of pattern here. We can kind of space it out, make sure we get it exactly in the correct place. So it looks like we'll probably have to do something like that to get this in the right place. The same pattern just repeated again and again, upside down, upside down. And then that uh, does that and that. So exactly what we had around the corner and of course you just simply put those there and then you can continue 
on around the place like that. That, that, that seems to work. Yeah. Yeah, that's working out fine. And then, of course, you've got this stone brick here. So that needs to be done all the way round, um, all the way round to the end, just exactly the same as what we've done before. Be right back when that is done. And once that's been done, it should look exactly like this all the way around. There we go. Of course, this is just half. You need to do the same on the other side if you're doing all those stages together. We can just bring these up as well, another couple of blocks. Right, uh, the next one to do is stone brick stairs, and this time it's going to be, hmm, let me see, it's just like that, I believe. Yeah, like that, and then you've got stone bricks alternate like that, and that should finish right about there without any problems whatsoever, and then in between, just go back to stairs upside down like that. In fact, that can continue on to the other side as well. I don't know why I just didn't do that. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Cool. Progress, progress, progress. Right. On top of all of those uh, blocks which are not stairs, we're going to do that. And then continue that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. Cool. On top of those, we can put on some stone slabs. Like that. Cool. It's all working out so far, actually. All working out really nicely. And then we're going to go for stone bricks. We're going to go for um, two of those in between, like that. And I guess I'll show you how we turn the corner here as well. I guess that's pretty important as well so pretty much the same deal we need to put uh, a block right there and then it's going to be stairs i'll turn it all the way along on this side and that should come out there like that normal blocks in between yep normal blocks in between and on top of the normal blocks we put on these chiseled blocks like that and it's the same exact same deal like that boom, 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 boom. and in between doubles like that double 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 good 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 and then one more on the end here and then on top of all these some little slabs and this is starting to make our pretty fancy wall just one tiny little stage to go obviously you continue that around the corner as well, exactly the same sort of way. Um, it'll be an exact copy of what is on the front to be on the back. There we go, cool. Um, so one last little stage, and that's a, a stone brick slab right there. And this gets, excuse me, wrapped around, a little, nice little defensive ledge here, and this gets wrapped around the whole Build. Obviously, this back side needs to be exactly the same as the front side. Be right back when I've done that. Backsiders completus, which is always good. Always good to have your backsiders completus. Right, what we want to do is just quickly poke a, uh, a hole right in the very middle there, just to give us an indicator of where the exact middle is. It should be pretty obvious, actually, where the middle is. And what we want to do is start to build up our tower. And we're going to go for one, two, three, usual Andy is Yoda tower like that and we want to build up to 24 in total 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 2 3 4 24 total with all of these branches there we go that has been completed and then we're gonna go boom, boom, boom. Upside down stairs around the top. If you've been doing any of my tutorials in the last couple of months, you know these are my favorite kind of towers. Quick and simple, they look great. And kind of bread and butter of my builds. There we go. And then on top of those, just circulate uh, a ring of stone bricks. Boom, 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 boom. And then on the side of five, you can just go one, two, three like that on each side of five. One in the middle, one on the left one on the right and what we'll do is we'll just seal in that at the top and open that up a little bit later on and there is your tower the next thing to do is to grab 
some grass and then just fill all that area in with grass. Okay, once the grass is in place, then we're gonna do some counting here. One, two, come down, and we wanna go for a count of 11 with stone bricks coming out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then same on the other side. And then we're gonna make a little walkway here for, well, people to walk on, of course. Um, so that's going to connect up into this uh, thing here, this base. So we need to form some kind of like some stairs uh, coming up into the place. And what I want to do first of all is just let me put on. Hmm, let me get this right. Let me get this right. Let me get this right. That's going to stick on that. That's going to go there, and that's going to go there. I believe we'll take get rid of that and get rid of that. I'm gonna just make a little adjustment here like that. So let's just adjust these ones like that. That comes around and then that goes, no, that's not right. That goes like that and that goes like that. There we go. No. <laughs> ah, that's gonna have to go like that. Turned and that's it. There we go. That's much better. Goodness me, that was tricky. Um, okay, and then they can go there. So we've got these kind of crenellations like that all the way along. Like that, so we can just continue that like that. Boom, 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 boom. Hopefully this is inspiring you to build your own base. Some people just watch these and they get inspired and they go off and build their own survival base. Some people like to copy these block for block so hopefully I'm going slow enough that you can copy this block for block now we need to make some stairs up the way so I think if we start the stairs there put them there and there that works out really nicely phew I was nervous because this is this is a tricky part of the whole operation we can make a little hole there down good all right Andy's happy <laughs> that's not an easy stage right now we need to make this big curve down below and we're gonna start up here at the top of the curve. What I'm actually gonna do is just grab some more of this polished and the site and remove these three blocks here. One, two, three, one, four, three, like that. And we're gonna put um, stone brick slabs there. Now, whatever I do on this side, you need to do on the other side. So I'm just gonna do this side here and then you can do the other side exactly the same. Okay, so this just comes along here, this row of stone bricks like that. And then we want to miss, um, a gap of two and have stone bricks there and these just come along like that so I mean a gap of two right there and then another gap of two so just missing those two blocks out so this are starting starting our little curve now the trouble with the curve that's a good film who's in that film again Kevin Costner the trouble with the curve baseball film I love baseball okay so that goes like that so you've got this two and then a three like that and then we'll come in here as well i think for a count of three again one two three and i'm going to put down an upside down little stair like that so hopefully that should be in the right place you will know if you've done it right if when you do this one two three four five six that six kind of finishes it finishes right just below that one right there cool um, now we can continue, so come up to, and we'll just continue this all the way up, fill in the gaps like that. There we go. So we're up by two, then we want to come up by another two, so just missing that gap of two, and this can come zipped up as well. So it's a gap of two, a gap of two, and another gap of two, and this just comes up like that. Doesn't really matter if you don't go all the way to the top, it's going to be disguised lunar or satyr and then bring this up here like that with a gap of three this time so if i stand back you can count those gaps pretty easily now a little gap of um hmm i think two again little gap of two and then we'll come up like that good 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 uh, and this will stick out come we're changing the direction here now stick out like that and that just comes up there Good, good, good. Nearly finished. Nearly finished. Um, let's put a gap of two there and then just seal the deal like that. And then we're really, really nearly finished here. It's just another four blocks to place. And that is the curve. 
obviously you need to go ahead and do the same with the stone bricks on the other side as I've done just there but I do like to poke some holes into this as well I'm gonna go hole there hole there and there hopefully you can kind of count the blocks and see where that is and that goes there and into those I'm gonna put some iron bars boom, 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 just for a little bit of aesthetic just to make it look a bit lighter like that there we go um, the actual the, the thing, the thing, you see what I haven't done, this is the middle block here, you see this is the middle block, so the middle block would actually be right there, that's the middle one, so there's the size of the portal, it's three at the top, and one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three at the base, so that would be where your portal goes in, I might as well just complete it for completing sake, if that's a thing. That would be obviously you're going to be doing the other side at the same time. So there we go. Um, what we can do is put in some of the fences for the animals at the base. This is going to come across here like that, and we'll just come right down the middle there like that. And then just come about maybe here would do, and I can't remember what I what I counted out from last time. But that gives you kind of a small pen, a big pen at the side. I think I probably put that one. Where did I put that one? Yeah, I put it. I put it over one. I put it here. Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be very pedantic about this. This is going to be right here. And then some gates, so you can walk between your animal pens like that. I think that's important if you go and harvesting all your uh, ingredients. You need to do the, the stone bricks on the other side, Andy. You didn't do that, but I'll do that in a second. I just want to get all this done here. Now, what we can do is probably plan out our farm as well. So what I did for the farm is I put a little path like that. And then this just comes along here like that, straight to my gate. So the rest of this is going to be farm, but we'll do some staircases, I think, and the side pod, the living quarters first. Cool. The next thing is the side pod housing. So we're going to grab some ochus woodus and come up by five blocks right here in the middle of the tower. One, two, three, four, five. Come over two and go one, two, three, four, five as well. Then we want to place blocks one, two, three, and have these stick out by three on that side and stick out by five here. One, two, three, four, five. So same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Stick out by three. Fill the gap and then stick out one, two, three, four, five. And on the ends of all these, I'm going to stick some little things like that. I still haven't done my bricks on this side. That's shocking. <laughs> That is shocking. I'll be right back and I'll get that done. Right, that's done. D -d did my homework. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. Right, we want to uh, put a block here. I mean, I, I can show you if you want. Look, look I actually did it. Right, um, so we're going to place this uh, these logs here and they're going to stick out by two. going to stick out by two. So one goes there. This one here goes all the way across in the middle and then gets a little thing on the end as well. So that's like that. This is the basic kind of the structure of this. This is going to stick out by two as well. The structure of this. Good comment, Andy. The structure, the basic thing holding up your house. And I like the way this is constructed. It's really looking like the whole thing has been put together properly to support the building. Okay, our next little task is to grab some spruce wood. And this is going to come up here like that. One in from the end. Just three blocks. One, two, three. Same on the other side. One, two, three. Forming this little structure. Um, something a bit weird we're going to do right now. We're going to go, hmm, let me get this exactly right. We want to just cut in here like so. And I'm going to put some more spruce wood there like that. I'm going to put that there and that there just to seal that in. And then we're going to open that up there like that. So it should end up with that sort of shape right there. Don't worry about it looking a bit weird underneath. That will be disguised shortly. Um, this wall here is a bit of a strange wall. It's actually a trap trapdoor wall like that. Trapidoris Maximus. Boom, boom, boom. And these can all get opened up. Like this. Boom, 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 boom. So there we go. That is one of the walls of our house, but it's good to maybe open this one up to make it look 
uh, like a door. There we go. You could go the other, other way if you wanted to open the door the uh, opposite way onto your balcony if you want. But that's going to be a little balcony. Right, now to get out some birch slabs. So now we have this uh, skeleton to work with. We can really put the house onto it really with consummate ease. Right, so we've got this little gap of four blocks here. What we can do is actually just fill this up here like this and bring this one along there like that and then one, two, three, four. So just here, I'm actually gonna place some stairs. So there's a couple of temporary blocks there to help me place these stairs like that and get rid of you. And I can turn the corner there. So we've got one set of stairs there and then we can go for another one. And then onto that, we can actually place two slabs like that, stick the stairs out. And then uh, underneath here, what we want to do is place our next upside down stairs. So there, um, actually there and there. Hmm. So these need to come down, these slabs. Oh yes, yeah, so those slabs come down and then it's just a question of continuing your stair in the normal Minecraft fashion. Minecraft stairs. My favorite block is the stair block. What's your favorite block? Let me know in the comments. I, I think the stairs are fantastic, especially now they, they, they do that and they turn on the corners. I think that's a, that's a fantastic thing. Oops. By the way, you have obviously loads of space underneath for expansion and storage and whatever you you feel like. Okay, cool. So that is done like that. Now we need to come around the corner here. Um, we're gonna go, hmm, I think it's one, two, three, like that. Yeah, that looks about right to me. And then one, two, three. And these one, two, threes, these can pretty much get spammed all the way over to here and all the way over to the other side of the survival base. So if your mate is doing the other side, that's where you would meet them in the middle. And then this can come along here like that, a little bit of a fence like that. And then like that, and then like that, and then fence, fence there. And that is that. Um, what you can do is that as well, just to provide a little bit of structure there, stop you falling off into the oblivion. And I know while I'm just thinking about it, um, here is a cauldron there and I can plant some plants and that, some creepers, some bushes, and have them crawl up like that. Okay, let's continue with our birch wood slabs and not get too distracted. Um, these slabs are going to continue on like that. So opposite, opposite the spruce. Just fill this in. This is the floor of your main habitation area. And then it goes in here as well. Like that. Cool. Uh, what should we do next? Oh yeah, around the back side, around the back side we can do uh, some more here, I guess. We could bring this out like that. Yeah, that works kind of well. And let's bring it around the corner. Did we bring it around the corner? Oh no, I forgot to do this one. <gasps> I forgot to do that one. Sorry about that. That's definitely, were you screaming at the, the screen? Tell me you forgot about it, Andy. Wrap your oak wood fences around there. So there's a little uh, rear facing balcony there. Good, good, good. Okay, now it's time for roofage. So we're going to start with dark oak stairs there and there. Once you get them in place, the rest of the roof is just really straightforward. It's just simply roofy like that. Upside down, so it's upside down, and then these just turn in like that. Boom, 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 boom. These ones, not so easy to place. Not so easy. Uh, oh. Nope. Ah, and then one, two, three, four. Phew, not so easy. Roofing with Andy, placing blocks. There we go. How is your day? I'm having a fantastic day. I was uh, helping my neighbor today. He needed his phone connected to his Wi-Fi. He couldn't get that working. And then he couldn't get his phone connected to his... Um, his Bluetooth in his car, so I got that working. I was Andy the problem solver today, but it was good to catch up with my neighbor as well and kind of help him out uh, with his tasks. There we go, so that can go there on the end. Oh, we need one more here, don't we? Like that. Um, does that really stick out like that? Huh. I guess it does, I guess it looks okay as well. Um, that goes there and that goes there. Same over on this end, upside down, correctly up, and then 
zipping up like that. And then a slab would be good. I don't have the slab handy ready. Oh, don't want to drop me wool either. Crap. So white wool, let's grab that. <laughs> and dark oak slabs can come along. You can use any color for the roof. I just liked the dark oak. And no joke, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, uh, the ends here simply get some wools like that. You can get rid of that block and that block, by the way. And just bring that down there for some wool wall. Like Again, if you don't like wool, uh, you could use any wood or anything you like, like so. Good, good, good. Uh, there is one little spot here which you should probably cover up with a slab and sliver up this with a cab as well. Oh, one thing I did do was put on some gates. So go for dark oak fence gates and we might as well grab some glass while we're at it. Um, so gate, 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 a little bit of detail, just breaks up that big monotonous patch of white. Same on the other side. Good, good, good. And then glass paint. <gasps> Pretty cool, that was a long section. <laughs> right, now we need to do the, uh, the last few details of this upper balcony and inside the tower area. We are actually very, very close to finishing, believe it or not, really are very close. I've just noticed a couple of things, I didn't do that and that. What a mistake of America. Um, and I think that doesn't come out there like that. I think that goes like that. Just a couple of wee, couple of wee details. Okay, so what we want to do is come down by two blocks and stick in a door. Um, but right now it's a bit of a daft door. So we're gonna grab some birch wood slabs and create kind of an upper platform, a viewing platform, spot all the bad guys coming. So what to do is remember the four and four. So we'll go just underneath the door. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And that's all you need to remember, same on the other side so we're coming down by two that's where your door would be so this is where it's going to be one two three four one two three four and that just gets nipped up around the corner um just a very slight kind of balcony there what i mean it's not very wide here and that just comes out like that and then that just comes around there and that's it that is simply the upper balcony. All you need to do is remember those two fours in the right place. Let's just nip this up here like that. And then we're gonna put on um, boom, 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 some fences around it. So let's grab the fences right now. Health and safety and all that sort of thing. Around that, of course you could go bananas with this. You could really expand on it and make this a much bigger balcony at the top if you wished. Right, what I have done is put a little gap there for a ladder that we could climb up from below. Now we're gonna have access to, to that from inside the tower, but I thought it'd be quite cool um, to find some kind of alternative access like that. By the way, a little uh, window can go in there and same on this side little window here and then this is where your door goes and your door goes right there cool all right progress is being made now something to hold up these uh, this balcony some some sort of structure to hold it up we're gonna go um, like that and like that and like that but this one I'm actually gonna turn around so it faces that way so we have that kind of thing going on and then the same over here, um, oops, no, that's like that. This one that gets turned like that. Cool. All right, I think, I think we are nearly, nearly finished. You can put a, a window in there, but not a window in there. And I'll kind of explain why. I think I'm gonna leave that there. That's enough for you guys to be going on with, I think. Let me show you what else I've done. Obviously, um, by the way, I could only produce donkeys and rabbits for some reason in this uh, world on my server. <laughs> Bit weird. Um, I've put an extra path along here up to the stairs and I've planted all this with a farm. Just make sure you've got a couple of spots of water and it makes it very neat indeed. If we have a little look inside, what else did I do? Um, not much in here in here. I just uh, put a little floor there and I dug in here and I made a little stair up here. Oh, 
uh, up to a little storage bay. So you, you can have fun making your own kind of storage bay. You can copy what I've done if you want. And then up here to the next level brings you out onto the balcony. Just watch you don't fall down there. And then up here, you come onto the roof. Um, so you'll have fun. You'll have fun doing that your own way. And you can run across. That's weird. You can run across to the other tower if you want. But there we go. Two player survival base. I hope you have fun making this or something like it. And I hope uh, I've inspired you in Minecraft to build. That's the most important thing about my channel as I inspire you to build things in Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao in the box. Be with you.